welcome. I am so happy that you are here again this week. And we are going to hear another story from the Bible. We know that the Bible is a true story. The Bible is a treasure book of stories old and new. It tells us how to live our life and it shows us what to do. Now, this week is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 25 through chapter 5, verse 2. And this week, I love it because it reminds me of a little song I was taught when I was a little girl in Sunday school. So bear with me. I am going to sing it for you. And I hope you can remember this song and connect it to what you will hear in the Bible verses today. Now, we know the book of Ephesians was written by the Apostle Paul. Now, Paul, remember, he really did not like Christians before, but then God changed him. Just like God can change anyone in this world if they choose to stop and trust him. So listen to this song, and I hope you can remember it and sing it on your own this week, okay? And it goes like this. Be careful, little hands, what you do. Be careful, little hands, what you do. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. So be careful, little hands, what you do. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. So be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. So be careful, little feet, where you go. Boys and girls, I love that song. To this day, someone probably taught it to me when I was three or four years old, but I still remember that song. So I pray that you can remember that song and it really connects us to Ephesians chapter four, verse 25 through Ephesians chapter five, verse two. So listen to this, or uh, these verses, and then think about that song. Be careful little hands what you do. Be careful, little mouth, what you say. Be careful, little feet, where you go. All right? So it starts like this. It says, so each of you must get rid of your lying. Speak the truth to your neighbor. We are all parts of one body. Scripture says, when you are angry, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Don't give the devil a chance. Those who have been stealing must never steal again. Instead, they must work. They must do something useful with their own hands. Then they will have something to give to people in need. Don't let evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. Do not make God's Holy Spirit sad. He marked you with a seal for the day when God will set you completely free. Get rid of all the hard feelings, the anger, the rage. Stop all the fighting and lying. Put away every form of hatred. Be kind. Be tender to one another. Forgive each other, just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. You are the children that God dearly loves. God dearly loves you and me. So be just like him. Lead a life of love, just as Christ did. He loves us. He gave himself for us. He was a sweet smelling offering and sacrifice to God. So friends, today I put this beautiful red rose in my hair because as I left my house, I saw these beautiful roses 
and I went and I took a smell and it remind me, reminded me of the scripture today. Have you ever stopped to smell roses and the sweet aroma? Well, that made me think of today's scripture that Christ was a sweet aroma and that is what God wants us to be on this earth. So be careful what you say. Be careful about where you're going. Be careful what you do with your hands, friends. Let's be living the way Christ wants us to live. God is with you. He is always here with us and he wants us to do our best. So let's sing that song one more time and you try to sing it with, with me, okay? And I will use, be careful little hands what you do, be careful little mouth what you say, and be careful little feet where you go, okay? So, all right, are you ready? Join me. Be careful little hands what you do. Be careful little hands what you do. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. So be careful little hands what you do. So be careful little mouth what you say. So be careful little mouth what you say. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. So be careful little mouth what you say. Be careful little feet where you go. Be careful little feet where you go. There's a father up above looking down in tender love. So be careful little feet where you go. Friends, if you don't remember the entire scripture of the day, I pray that you can remember that song. Be careful the way you speak. Do not tell lies. Use your voice to uplift others. And I also pray that those around you are doing the same for you. I pray that every word that is spoken to you lifts you up and makes you um, remember that you are God's child and you will always be God's child. And everything you do, everything you say, and everywhere you go should be a sweet aroma pleasing to God. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you for this beautiful scripture from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25 through chapter 5, verse 2. Remind us that we are your children and we are a part of your family and we want to do exactly what reminds others that we belong to you. Amen. Have a wonderful week and don't forget to come back. Bye-bye.